father. How dare you show your face here? You're the reason Luis is dead in the first place. Sheridan, such wild accusations, please. It's the truth. You're to blame for both Luis and Antonio's death. You're totally overwrought. And you're a sick, lying bastard. He actually had the nerve to show up at Pilar's last night with flowers that he pulled from her garden, roots and all. <sighs> oh, Father, is this true? Well, it was late. All of the floors were closed. Oh, stop making excuses. You hated Luis. And you hated that I loved him even more. That's why you had Beth kidnap Marty. You tried to kill Luis and me I don't know how many times. <sighs> Just ignore her. She's totally hysterical with grief. Get out of here! I don't want you here! Shh, shh, shh. This is the house of God, Sheridan. All of his children are welcome here. That blows you out. You're the spawn of evil. Sheridan, as much as it pains me, I must agree with Alistair. All people, evil or not, are welcome in God's house. Why, thank you, Father. <sighs> Don't pretend to be grateful, Alistair. Just sit down and be quiet. Sure. When we sit down, we're about to begin. Fancy, if you come sit with Eve and me, if you sit next to this old man, you may be struck by lightning. Fancy staying with me. Please, Grandfather, don't make a scene. Don't worry. Discretion is my middle name. We have come here today to give thanks to God for the extraordinary life of an extraordinary man, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. It was decided that Luis would not have wanted a typical funeral mass but rather a service crafted by those who knew him best. Ethan Winthrop has prepared a video chronicling Luis's last days on Earth. Ethan, if you would please play that now. Thank you, Father. Luis kept a video diary of what turned out to be his last days alive while he was searching for Marty, his son with Sheridan. I took the liberty of editing some of the footage down to a few special moments I think we all need to see and hear. Hey, Sheridan. I'm actually about to go to bed, but I'm not gonna be able to sleep unless I tell you how much I love you. And how much I can't wait to bring our fantastic little boy home to you. <laughs> <laughs> 